And this place, historically, is a site where great art was created. I mean, Thomas Mann wrote his music novel, Dr. Faust was here, um, his radio speeches and other works um, in, in his study right over there. And every time people like come and visit the house, the study is this sort of erratic place where everybody is excited about. The Thomas Mann House is the former exile home of the German writer and Nobel laureate Thomas Mann, who lived here um, when being exiled from Germany in the 1940s with his family. Um, they lived in this house from 1942 to 52, and the Manns took on American citizenship in 44. And um, it was around that time when this house really became this vibrant gathering spot for many uh, notable characters from that emigre communities. The architect of the house is uh, Julius Ralph Davidson, J.R. Davidson, who was also a German Jewish uh, 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 migrant to Los Angeles. And uh, he was also part of the case study house program, like other modern architects at the time. Um, Thomas Mann was also very aware of his public image and choosing a California, a typical California architectural style. Interestingly, the interior design of the house uh, wasn't that modern at all, but it more resembled um, the Munich apartment with like a more like old-fashioned German bourgeois type of furniture. Um, but that's also a very nice metaphor for how many people felt in, in exile. So, um, adaptation to the new home country on the outside, but then the sort of longing for a lost home on the inside. The house today is a residency center and a space for transatlantic debate. Um, the Manns left the house and sold it in 1952, when with the beginning of McCarthyism, they really didn't feel welcome anymore in the United States and they left for Switzerland and they sold the house to a family. Um, who lived here up until 2016 when the house um, was up for sale and it was then that the German government was able to purchase the house and, and, and since then it has been turned into a residency center. I think this is the first exhibition at the Thomas Mann House um, as our sort of core uh, program of the house is the residency. There's a call for applications every year. There is an annual overarching topic, and this year the topic is uh, the question of what is the role of the artist or the role of arts in times of weakened democracies, in times of crises. So it feels only very, like a great match to have Nicola L's works here at the Thomas Mann House. Nicola L was a Moroccan-born French artist uh, who spent most of her life softening architecture and space. She created several works that were communal shelters, such as the Red Cape and the Fur Room. And I wanted to recreate this softening of architecture with Nicola. She created these wall-sized paintings called Penetrable, in which one could enter with their heads and hands and feet and become part of architecture traipsing functionality and sculpture, which makes them even more interesting occupying this semi-domestic space. Central to this exhibition is one of Nicola's banners that were created beginning in the late 1960s following the May 68 protests in France. The one on view is titled Nous voulons entendre and is a protest banner with nine head penetrable. It translates as, we want to hear, and alludes to Nicolas' overall mission and narrative of creating a sensual architectural environment, one that can be felt, heard, smelled. Obviously, there's a very strong political nature to Nicolas' work, which makes it a perfect fit. But I also wanted to create some kind of friction, which occurs when Nicola, a female artist, rubs against the legacy of uh, modern architecture, which has been driven largely by male architects. What I find really intriguing about Jay's curatorial concept behind this exhibition is to sort of bring this idea of this functional, modern, very harsh architecture, and of course this idea or this image of Thomas Mann as the big male canonical genius writer um, in conversation with these very sensual works by Nicola L. Um, because I also think it highlights other characters, very strong characters in this house historically. So I feel bringing Nicola L's works here in the living room and seeing 
her works in conversation with the architecture and the house's history, but also in relation to our fellows' work, is a really great experience.